Hello, faithful, and welcome to another episode of White Throne Metal Radio's Top 10 Songs. Today we're going to tackle a band that I've had many requests for, and frankly it's a larger catalog, so it took me a little longer to put it all together, and of course I'm talking about Striper. You're here, you know who they are, they've been around since 1984, they've got a string of albums, they had a pretty long gap in between a couple of releases uh, from 1990 through what 2005 something to that effect um, Michael Sweet a lot of solo stuff as well uh, but for our for all intents and purposes today the top 10 songs are striper songs um, they're not songs that Michael wrote for his solo stuff um, I, I could easily do a album countdown too, and that would be a lot of fun. And maybe we'll do that because the catalog is bigger than most. Um, again, these videos are designed to be fun. They're all designed to just help us talk about the band uh, and music that we all love and enjoy. And maybe you've tuned in because you've heard of them, but you don't really know them. And that's cool too. There's music all over the all over YouTube and the internet that you can check that out. Um, this one's going to be more of a straight ahead. Probably uh, won't really have too many song clips, if any, in this video. So if you're tuning in for song clips, probably won't get it. Striper is everywhere. Pretty much melodic metal. Um, people want to call them quote unquote hair metal. I think that's derogatory. If you want to say 80s hard rock heavy metal, cool. If you want to say melodic metal, cool. Um, Striper was kind of an amalgam. They would write more poppy songs. They would write heavier songs. They would write ballads. I always kind of gravitated a little more towards the heavier, the harder edge stuff. Um, you'll see my top 10 probably will reflect more of that. When we get through this whole thing, I'm going to have some honorable mentions, and maybe we'll go through, look at some of their albums too. I want the video to be a little shorter, not longer, so let's get right down to it. Coming in at number 10, and this is going to be a surprise for a whole lot of people. I have an absolutely no doubt. Number 10, and remember, this is my top 10. This top 10 could change uh, at any, next week. It could change. Uh, there were so many great songs to pick from. But my top 10 today, right now, coming in at number 10, off of their most recent album, God Damn Evil, the song is called The Devil Doesn't Live Here Anymore. One of the things that Striper does and has done many times, that album closer cranks into high speed and absolutely blows doors off of so many other songs. Um, so it always got me where people would say, well, they're they're too, they're poppy, they're, they're not. No, the devil doesn't live here anymore. You could crank that up with anything from Judas Priest or anything from Van Halen, for that matter. Um, so many bands, and Bill Terry, um, Great stuff, absolutely brilliant stuff. Comes in at number 10. Number nine. Number nine. No, not uh, a Beatles track. Uh, this is off of their 2000, I think it's 2013. Let me take a quick peek here. 2000, you think I'd have this down already. 2013 album, No Hell to Pay, is the song sympathy and I really had a hard choice between this and another tune um, but sympathy is a brilliant track lyrically musically absolutely ranks up there as an all-time classic in my opinion fantastic song great lyrical content with a brilliant hook fantastic coming in at number nine is sympathy Coming in at number eight. Coming in at number eight. Not That Kind of Guy. Off of Against the Law. Great song. Definitely, they show their Van Halen influence on that. Uh, lyrically, it's brilliant. 
It's brilliant, Mike. If you're watching this video, that song is brilliant. You should be playing songs off of Against the Law. They rock. It is the most underrated album in your entire catalog. Not That Kind of Guy comes in at number eight. Number seven, off of In God We Trust, Writing on the Wall. A solid, straightforward, great hook, great melody, upbeat, a really strong guitar solo in that song. Um, fantastic stuff. Um, Writing on the Wall comes in at number seven. Number six, and some of you are out there probably going, wait a minute, what about this album? What about that? What about this song? What about that song? It's my top 10. And again, there's tons of honorable mentions. Not only that, what's your top 10? So coming in at number six, two bodies, one mind, one soul, a deep track. I love solid deep tracks. This song sounds so unstriper, but it is so heavy, and it is such an awesome tune. I, again, now I have to admit, I haven't seen, I've not had a chance to see Striper on the last two or three tours that they've done. I live in Northern California. I miss the 30th anniversary to Hell with the Devil. Shame on me. I don't know if they played this song on that tour or not. Um... It's a brilliant tune with a great message. Two minds, pardon me, two bodies, one mind, one soul comes in at number six. Everyone's scrambling or they're arguing, going, no, no, no. It's a great song, man. Coming in at number five, off of Soldiers Under Command. Surrender. I had to go back. I basically been went back and listened to everything in the catalog. And Surrender is such a great song. I remember when that song, when, when Soldiers came out, I used to play that song because it had that total down picking and it just the chug going on. And it so reminded me of Metallica's thrash metal. I just... Uh, in 1984, early 85, before Soldiers came out, I'm at the Alameda County Fair. I'm 15, 16 years old. I had my Striper shirt on. It was a black muscle shirt, just said Striper. Um, I think it had the Isaiah 53 on it. I'm sitting on the, the, on the curb in the fairgrounds, waiting for my parents or whatever. Uh, Alameda County Fair. And I'm sitting there, and I happen to look over to the left, and who comes walking but James Hetfield and Lars Ulrich and I think a roadie, probably, from Metallica. And I'm just dumbfounded because I love Metallica. And we're talking, this is 85, so Kill Em All and Ride the Lightning to come out. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And they kept going, they kept going. They kept, and, I, and I went, Metallica, really loud. Well, they both turned and looked at me and Lars saw my shirt and he said, nice shirt, bro. We said, dude, but bro. <laughs> anyway, Surrender comes in at number five. Great song. Coming in at number four, off of To Hell with the Devil, courtesy of Mr. Oz Fox, The Way. Such a great song. A great riff, um, a stellar guitar solo, and a killer chorus. As well, lyrically, the whole, the whole pack. That song's got the whole package, and uh, it's one of those songs that you're gonna hit repeat immediately right after you play it. Upbeat, um, fast, you know, uh, a great song, absolutely, absolutely, without a doubt, an all-time classic uh, in the Striper catalog. Coming in at number three. Number three, the top three. We have hit the top three. And I know there are so many songs. Um, for those of you who are just like screaming at me right now, this is all in fun. Remember, this is my top ten at this moment. And it's not designed to be 
the definitive top 10 striper songs. It could be, I guess, but it wouldn't be a bad selection to give to people. Coming in at number three, off the Yellow and Black Attack, the original EP from 84, not the remix from 86. I know it's... That's another... That's for later in the video, perhaps. Coming in at number three, Loud and Clear. I... I, I couldn't figure out what, loud and clear. It's the first Striper song ever that I ever heard. And I read, I, in 1983, I'm reading Campus Life magazine. For those of you who remember what that was, it was basically like a, call, a magazine for high school and college age uh, Christian, you know, young men and women. And there was a blurb in the news section about this band from Southern California with this photo and about they were going to be coming out with a new EP or whatever next year and on Enigma Records. And I'm looking at the photo and at that point, I mean, I'm listening to Petra, I'm listening to Resurrection Band and that's about all I know. Maybe a little Daniel Band or Jerusalem, maybe. And I see this and I'm like, oh my gosh. So... I remember I'm in the Bible bookstore in 1984 and then come to find out that the month prior, Striper's EP had been released. I read it somewhere when I'm in the bookstore. I left the bookstore. I wrote up to the record factory and there it is. There it is. The EP. This is an original. And if you know anything about this, you know how original this is because of where the uh, picture is cut, right? Absolutely. And I, I took it home and I threw it on and I'm hearing this loud and clear and I'm still kind of going, are these guys really Christians? Really? I can't believe it. I mean, I know it says special thanks, number one, Jesus Christ, the boss man, but I'm looking at them and I'm hearing them and I'm like, uh, uh, can this really be? Yes, it can really be. Got the little postcard deal on the inside. Um, I got the. I should have saved this part for the end. I know we have we're not done with this yet, but I got the lyric sheets. Had to send away for those. Don't worry, we'll go through this maybe later. Number two, coming in at number two, top ten striper songs. Title track from their third album, "To Hell with the Devil." An anthem and a half. Anthem and a half, a brilliant song. Um, saw that tour twice, three times. Um, I went with Rick Hunter from Soldier. I remember it was with TNT and Loudness. And then um, I think there was a, a New Year's Eve show for this out on this at the San Jose Civic. And I think we saw him one other time as well. But to hell with the devil. Do I need to explain it or describe it? A mid-tempo, great hook, absolutely fantastic song. Comes in at number two. Number one, there can be absolutely no doubt. Number one, number one, Soldiers Under Command. If you only listen to one Striper song, that's the song to listen to. It's heavy melodic, absolutely brilliant guitar solo. It's got a time change, tempo change in the middle. Um, I love the video, which did get played on MTV. Um, primarily, if you remember, if, you, if any of you ever saw it, before Headbangers Ball, they had a show called Heavy Metal Mania. Uh, it came out once a month. It was hosted by D. Snyder, and it ran for two hours. And my a friend of mine, we were in high school, uh, my friend Mark Miller uh, had recorded this episode of it. I still was all kind of new to MTV and we were watching it and all of a sudden that video came on and I... And at the end of the... Uh, after they played the video and D. Snyder comes in, he goes, and that's from L.A. Striper, Soldiers Under Command, you can put your crayons away. 
Dave Johnson from White Throne Magazine wrote 777 postcards in crayon asking MTV to play Soldiers Under Command by Striper. And the only reason why I know that because Dave told me that. He goes, I did. I'm looking at him going, you did what? And he told me. Absolutely, this is one of those things. I wish Striper would do a, like a D, could do, could do a DVD or something and remaster all these old videos. I mean, they did a video for You Know What To Do that was on TBN. They did a video which is on my YouTube channel somewhere here. But there you have it. Top 10 Striper songs. Number one, Soldiers Under Command. Number two, To Hell with the Devil. Number three, Loud and Clear. Number four, The Way. Number five, Surrender. Number six, Two Bodies, One Mind, One Soul. Number seven, Writing on the Wall. Number eight, Not That Kind of Guy. Number nine, Sympathy. And number ten, The Devil Doesn't Live Here Anymore. That's our top ten. How about some honorable mentions from the EP? How about Come On Rock from Wrong to Right? Oh, man, I used to play From Wrong to Right all the time. How about from Soldiers Under Command? The Rock That Makes Me Roll, Makes Me Want to Sing, um, From To Hell With The Devil, More Than A Man, Free, and I'll even go as far as the sing-along song. That was a good song. Um, In God We Trust was at almost like a carbon copy of To Hell With The Devil. The song placement, where the ballads are. I mean, you had Honestly, and then you had the, In All Of Me, and then the, you had the ballads on the new... There were certain things that were different. They got a very positive review in Kerrang! for To Hell With The Devil. Not so much... For In God We Trust. But I always like the title track, In God We Trust. The Rain, another Oz Fox classic. And I've always dug Keep the Fire Burning. Off of Against the Law, to me, again, the most underrated album in the entire catalog. Two-Time Woman, there's a video for that. Um, Ordinary Man, Caught in the Middle, the title track itself... The rock and rock the hell out of you. Oh man, absolutely kicking songs, great songs that really should get some re get resurrected, brought back to life. They would easily fit in with the current Striper music catalog. Off of oh, and after that album, you know they released "Can't Stop the Rock." Um, we didn't really get any new Striper music. Until Reborn. And you go back and listen to Reborn. Yes, it's a released in 2005. It's got that total alt-rock, grunge, whatever you want to call it, vibe and sound. But Open Your Eyes is a good song. Live Again is really a standout track on there. Um, if I Die, which is a really good poppy rock song. Um, Wait For You. It's got that kind of a slower ballady kind of feel to it, but it's not a ballad. It's a great rock song. Uh, the redo of In God We Trust was pretty good. Murder by Pride. Um, Eclipse of the Sun. You know, again, kind of this alt-rock, kind of punky pop punk stuff. My way I took it. Uh, Four Leaf Clover, same kind of vibe. They do a cover on there, you know, of the Boston song. Um, and then after that, they come back to playing more what we would expect from Striper. Um, no More Hell to Pay, great song. Um, Water Into Wine really could have been a top 10 song. I mean, it was a toss-up between that and Sympathy. Water Into Wine is one of those songs musically. Simpler is better. It's got a great hook, great riff. The title track, No More Hell to Pay, great stuff on that album. Um, the album Fallen, uh, Yahweh, The Calling, what a good song. Pride, 
dig that song. Down tuned, a little mo kind of a modern vibe, but it's a great song. Uh, Till I Get What I Need. King of Kings, another good song. Big Screen Lies. Um, great stuff. Off the last album, God Damn Evil. Um, I love Sorry, but I think the song Beautiful um, has a, to me, that song, it's like a sister song between Sorry and Beautiful. Beautiful, I think, has a stronger message, in my opinion. Um, the Valley, great song. And I dig the title track. It's got a great groove um, and a great hook. Um, just fantastic stuff there from Striper. You know, um, Striper took everything to the next level. To Hell with the Devil, you know, was the first Christian heavy metal album to ever go platinum. Period. End of story. Yeah, I mean, it's all the... It's 1987, you know? I mean, it's big hair and um, all that kind of stuff. I got to tell you, um, at one point... I had it was a merchandise form. Um, at one point, I had, and that's in a. This is an original, guys. That's an Enigma from '87, uh, or actually copyrighted '86. Um, I'm trying to remember how that all went. Uh, if it was '86, '87, something to that effect. Anyway, they did that tour with, like I said, TNT and Loudness. And it was great. Played the Concord Pavilion. And I don't know. We sat 20 rows, 25 rows, 20 rows. Had to be because we were in the bowl. So um, I don't know. I mean, I worked in a Christian bookstore at the time. Striper was a big deal. Always was. Whatever they did, it would always be controversial, but usually good. So that's why when they did this last one, I feel like, when I watch, there's, this is a side note, I watched the planet, original Planet of the Apes, and if you ever watch that film at the end of the movie, Charlton Heston, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but he uses the phrase, God damn you. And he's talking about, not in a, uh, a curse, but it's, it, he's, he's saying, you know, God will damn you. And in the title of this album, God Damn Evil, it, it, play on words, I get it. I'm not offended by it. A lot of people are. Um, you probably, maybe you could see, you know, I, I could dig out a couple of things I still have. The Honestly cassette, um, Reason for the Season cassette. This is an original 1984 EP cassette that I think a friend of mine actually gave me for Christmas. Um, and somehow I ended up with two copies of the remix, which I, I will tell you right now, the original six song EP, the original mix, has absolutely never been released on CD. There is a Japanese version of the remix of this, this version, with the original cover. Okay? And you can all, you, you'll know it because they've added the two songs they added here, Reason for the Season and uh, My Love I'll Always Show. It's on there. And Dave Johnson bought a copy of it, got it from Japan, incredibly hard to get. We listened to it and I said, dude, that's the remix. That mix is the remix. And it has my love I'll always show, the ballad one, not the original rock heavy version. Um, I, so anyway, top 10 striper songs with a little bit of added commentary from me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. What are your top 10 Striper songs? Don't complain about my top 10 if you can't give one. We're all entitled to our opinion. And again, this is so we can have fun and discuss our favorite bands and favorite music. There's no right or wrong answers. And uh, 
Well, I've got more stuff forthcoming, but I wanted to get this one in the can. It's a little bit longer than I intended, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Give us a like, subscribe. Don't forget, say your prayers, and God bless. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.